morning everybody well almost lunchtime now um, we are at the outlet mall we're not doing the parks today so I'm going to head to the Disney outlet store character warehouse whatever they call it here and um, take some video in there and I'm hoping that I can get enough video of things to actually make it one of my like totally separate what's new at the Disney outlet this month videos I want to make one of those so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna see how busy it is and see what I can get footage of so let's head over to the Disney store okay guys so I think I'm done looking around I ended up getting a couple of things which I'll show you not much um, just two shirts and yeah I took video of as much as I could or felt like was sort of interesting for my YouTube video the separate video so I will um, hopefully put that together soon and we're gonna head out now yeah, lots of stuff in here. Lots, lots, lots. Also, we're stopping at Kate Spade because I want to see what kind of deals they have here and if there's anything different than at home. So, hmm. a lot of the same stuff that I've seen at our outlet, actually. 70% off. If you buy, no, 70% off the price on the tag or it's buy two or more get an extra 20% off clearance. There's the Kate Spade store. I have a little polka dots on the floor out front leading to it. Our usual spot for lunch when we come to this outlet mall is Panera. So today we decided to stick with Panera. So I got a half of a strawberry poppy seed salad. I don't think I've had this before. It looks pretty good with an apple on the side because I needed a fruit or a vegetable. I had like nothing on this trip. And then my husband got a uh, half of a chicken sandwich, and hopefully a chicken's on there somewhere, and half of a chicken noodle soup. And he also got this huge ice mocha, which sounds really good, cafe mocha. So we're about to leave the outlet mall, and all over they have these banners, or whatever you call them, like for Disney. So Disney is definitely advertising here. So they have a flower and garden festival ad with the beast. I saw a couple of those. And then they have another one for Mickey and Minnie's surprise celebration. Okay, we just got to Disney Springs and we're gonna look around. We got a little time before our dinner reservation, so we're gonna look around and shop. This NBA experience thing has been under construction for a while and it's looking huge, but it's still behind walls. The NBA experience, summer 2019. Okay, so soon, they're coming up on it. There's a store I don't recognize, that must be newer. Um, I don't remember if this curl place was here before. Don't remember. Is this a new place? This might be, yeah. When we saw like signs for it last time we were here, Haleo or something like that. Yeah, it's open, awesome. So let's come down here. And where we are is behind Haleo. And then I think this is Bongo. I wasn't even paying attention, we just walked right by it. Um, and the food truck is behind me also, like we're right behind the food truck. So there's just a little pathway I thought we'd come look at. I could, I mean, I probably say this like every day we're here, at least a couple times, at least to my husband. It's, what a beautiful day, it's such a beautiful day. And uh, I just, I'm not used to all the sunshine living in Chicago. Yeah, we get sunshine, but not like this. So this is nice, I really like this. I just thought I'd come look at the water and see the boats. Look at them go. Oh, and somebody, it looks like they're going in and somebody's leaving. Now here's the Disney style store. We are for sure going in here. For sure, for sure. For sure, going in, yay! Okay. I love this place. No, it's it's, no nice try. <laughs> Remember last time we were here, I got my picture in the teacup? Yeah. This stuff is so funny. It's like t shirts and stuff, but it's packed to look like food. See? Or you can get an individual slice. Or you can get a box of popcorn. Or what about the glazed donuts? Nice. Some mugs. Here's a hat I've never seen. The mini tote bag. 
that's 45. Lots of Minnie Mouse jewelry. This whole rack is, it's a small world themed. Look at these bags. Oh my goodness. Moundfly makes the cutest little backpacks. They make a ton of these different styles for different Disney things, Marvel things. They're really cute. Look at this spirit jersey. I think it's a spirit jersey. I think so. Look at that. Here are the small world mini ears. And a small world tote bag too. Look at this one, all the kids are in the boat. Aw, <laughs> it's a haunted mansion spirit jersey. And I'm knocking it over. That's the back, this is the front. Because ghost host, and it says it glows in the dark. Awesome, so if you come to Disney style and get a spirit jersey, it's gonna set you back nothing. Here, 65. And you can get the matching lounge fly backpack, which I really like, and the matching lounge fly wallet. Oh, even better, wait a minute, wait a minute, the fanny pack. Tomb Sweet Tomb makeup bag. I'm just deciding it's a makeup bag. And a little clutch wallet thingy. You couldn't fit much in it, but look at that. That's adorable. That is $20. Look at this stuff. Is it Alice in Wonderland? Some of it is. Three quarter length sleeve shirt. But these ears I don't think are Alice. They're just, um, you know, I don't know which, I don't know the name for these. Maybe I can find out. I really like how different the bow is though. And look at little wallety things for Alice in Wonderland. Look at this. It's like a coin purse that's a teacup. Oh my goodness. Just the cutest stuff. Great keychain. And a white rabbit, little makeup bag. More shirts. This rack is all food themed stuff. I'm here for the food. This shirt is 35. Oh, these are pens. This is not a pen. I don't know what you do with this. Some of the plushies, we saw some of these in the past. Like last year, we saw some of these on our visit. And. Let's see this tall mug. Look, oh my goodness. With like the snacks, but also some rides. Really cute. That is 14. There's birthday mini ears. Mickey premium bar mini ears. Cool looking shirts over here. Jungle Cruise. Madame Leota. Some hats too. Oh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride shirt. Wow. Oh, it's this frequent flyer. That's cute. It's $28. Dumbo patches. Well, Fantasyland patches. What is this? Um, I don't know, like a little hangable canvas print, I guess. Enchanted Tiki Room stuff and spirit jersey. And orange bird also. That, no, it's not really a sweatshirt. It's just like a long sleeve tee with a hood. There's that pink macaroon. I've seen her, that before. I still like it. It's really cute. And the Dole Whip and the plush pretzel. And here's a churro pencil case. That's what I think. It's like probably best for a pencil case or makeup, I guess, like brushes. A Dole Whip little uh, clutch bag. I want to get this for you. You would look so dapper on our next Disney trip in your Disney food polo shirt. And a lounge fly mini polka dot backpack. They have a display of Briar Rose gold stuff. And look at that. Those are very pretty. And they have, okay, wait here. Here, they have the backpack and the fanny pack. 
and the matching wallet. Oh my goodness. It's a Cinderella castle purse. This is adorable. Oh, it's that um, Danielle Nicole. Yeah. And it's $74. Beauty and the Beast stuff over here. Um, what is it? Bell Rose Spinner. Oh. Look at that. Thrilling. And an ornament, I assume it's a Christmas ornament. And here's Chip. I've got him. Oh, look at this necklace with Chip and Mrs. Potts. Aww. And you can get the matching earrings with Mrs. Potts on one ear and Chip on the other. They're so cute, these leggings. It's like half pink, half blue. They start out blue at the top and then by the time they get to your ankles, they're deep pink. Oh my goodness. They're $40, they're so cute. Here's Monsters, well I say Monsters Inc, but it's Monsters U. Mike Wazowski. They've got patches, they've got big jewelry. They have cute plushy keychains and hats. Look at the mic or uh, the Sully ears. Not ears, but horns. Those are 28. Mugs, spirit jerseys, and then there's Toy Story stuff. Buzz Lightyear ears. Wow. Wait, is this part of? Oh yeah, it is part of the ears. This big thing back here. Wow. And a Jesse shirt. Slinky dog ears. I don't know if they're me. What do we think? It's a whole rack of purple potion stuff. The backpack, water bottle, the spirit jersey. I do wish I would have gotten everything millennium pink, millennial pink, whatever it was, to match my ears, but that's okay. Even a purple potion Mickey shirt. Oh, look at this little purse. Oh, that is cute. Okay, look, one of these little signs is what we saw at the outlet. And here it's 15, and at the outlet I think it was five. They've got more cute keychains. Oh my goodness. It's Lumiere. These are adorable. Some patches, including some really big patches. I mean, look at that. Huge. Lots of cool patch options. Here's another big one. That is 20. So I think I've looked around enough. I definitely want to get into more mischief, but I'm gonna be good, so yeah. Okay, we can mosey. You can feel some of the water sprinkling at you when the wind blows, it's nice. Oh, there's a rainbow. Oh, wow. Okay, the water is seriously spritzing me. Feels nice. I know, but I don't want it to get the camera. I don't like my hairdo. My bangs make me look like the guy from the fifth element. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Gary Oldman is a very respected actor. Yeah, but the character is a nut. <laughs> okay. If I look like Gary Oldman, that's a whole nother problem though. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, I really like that Disney style store. I didn't get anything this time. Maybe another time. Maybe. Maybe just keep being good. It's too far from Christmas to have to worry about being good or bad. So yeah, I like it in there. Okay, I'm, I'm really getting spritzed. So we gotta keep walking. We're riding that this time. No, we are not riding that balloon of doom. And I think it's closed. What a shame. No, thank you. Yes, you'd be brave enough to ride it. I am not. For sure. For sure I'll, not brave I'll enough. I'll drive it. Yeah. Here's Maria and Enzo's. Still have to eat there. We still have to eat at most of these places, truth be told. We've only eaten at a couple places total. If you include snacky type places or desserts. There's the Edison. That's where we went last year for our date night. I liked the Edison. The food was good. Um, I guess it takes a lot for me to say that a place was like really fantastic or remarkable. 
It was good. It wasn't fantastic or remarkable, though. I'd go back. Yeah, I feel like we might have chosen some duds on the menu. But, well, yeah, nothing else really sounded that good to me. Huh. Um, anyway. And, oh, I know what the big problem was. We were seated behind this weird pole, or like next to this weird pole. Yeah. And it was super duper dark in there. So, I don't know. Take that information, if it's useful. I hope that helps somebody if you're thinking about going to Edison. Now, let's get down to business. Here's the ganachery. There's a sign that says the s'mores are back. If we do not stop there, I'm revolting. Come on. Go there now. Should I get the s'more now, though? And carry it around? Yeah, well, I feel like we have over an hour before our Okay, that's what I want. Okay. I don't think I ever noticed that before. That's where they make the s'mores, back there. I've had one once before, it was amazing. It was amazing. Look at these chocolate pops. Oh, springtime. Oh my God. <laughs> Chocolate toffee crunch with pecans. This is, this is something I've always lived by. Chocolate is good medicine. Yes, it is. I need this mug. Oh yeah, Remus Lupin would agree. Hi. <laughs> the peanut butter one comes recommended by my best friend. The one with Mickey on it's really cute. So I ordered my s'more and they gave me this and I decided to be Belle. And so you have to hold it up to the window so they know. Thank you. And then they're gonna make my s'more. Would you hold my board? Thank you. Ooh, I'm so excited. I just can't eat it now. And wait, let's take a little look. You got a mint chocolate. Yeah. I don't think really call them truffles, but it's a little mint chocolate. And it's very cute and it's packaged real tiny and cute. That's me. <laughs> And more importantly, that's my s'more that they're making. <laughs> Holy cow. More chocolate. Salt for you. Look at that. <laughs> it's a powdered sugar Mickey. It's so cute. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'll trade you for the sign. Here's the boathouse. Look at that car. Cool. Oh my gosh. It just looks like there's nothing there and you're so close to the water when you're out. So it's really hard to not eat my s'more, but I'm going to resist. How sad, I got a, a whole s'more and you got one little teeny piece of chocolate. I think we know who has more willpower. Not me, <laughs> it's not me. Hooray, we made it to the world of Disney. We haven't been here since it's been redone. Hooray. Although I was very good at Disney style, so I can't imagine I'll get into too much mischief here. I am very responsible. Yeah. yeah. Except when it comes to chocolate. Except for chocolate. All bets are off. Wow. This has been redone. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Bags. Is this a fanny pack? Oh, no. Nah, it's kind of hard to tell. It's cute though. Luggage tags. I need some luggage tags that aren't complete junk. So I'd like to consider getting some of these. It's like a lot of solid colors. Oh, look how pretty, look at the pastels for springtime. That is a very pretty color. And then purple and pink and they have white. They have 2019 merchandise. Look at Mickey. He's a cool dude. Oh, they have like a whole wall of 2019 merchandise.
There's pretty much everything here. Like, everything. I'm not sure what's not here. I know that's silly. I really think they've got like everything that you could be looking for or shopping for. Oh, you know what? They probably don't have that I bought last year. It's a little plush zero, a little plushy of zero from Nightmare Before Christmas. They had that at Hollywood Studios in like one store, maybe, maybe two. I only remember where, the one I bought it at, but I don't think they have him here. So I guess they don't technically have everything, but almost. It's a big eyed Marie. A lot of family. Oh. I obviously need Big Eyed Marie in my life. And here are plush keychains. We saw some of them earlier. Sorry, Minnie, I poked you in the eye. I like them too. Mini ears are pretty. You can get a phone case that kind of matches. Lots of Alex and Ani stuff. I'm amazed at how it's like everywhere now. And how much of a Disney selection they have, which I think is great. It lights up. Never mind my sunglasses. That's cute. Okay, I need this. It says it's scented. There's a tag that said it's scented. It doesn't smell like a Dole Whip to me. I don't know what it smells like. Not a Dole Whip, but it's cute. Oh, it's a Mickey Premium Bar, and this is supposed to be scented, too. I don't smell anything, though. You smell anything? Chocolate in the middle. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's chocolate in the middle, but I don't like that smell. It doesn't smell as good as real chocolate. What is this one? Oh, string lights? Wow. Ice cream cups? Glasses. Now this, this I like. This fine glassware for our kitchen. Hats, ears, more mini bows, mini ears. Oh, these are funny. It's Donald. It's the one that matches my ears. I think it's different somehow though. Yeah, it doesn't have a zipper across the front. It's got this pouch. Why didn't you tell me that this would match my ears. It, it would match my ears. <laughs> How much are these backpacks? $90, goodbye. No, no thank you. I cannot justify $90 for that size of a backpack. The stitch one's cute. That's how like open and huge it is. It's a little, it's a little much. Like I will never make it through this whole store before dinner, never. Look at part of the celebration. Ooh. All kinds of let's celebrate merchandise. Celebrating Mickey. Look, and here's a giant plush Mickey in this party hat and tie. Some nice plain polo shirts for men. Those are nice. That's an understated Disney look. You could wear that to dinner. Beauty and the Beast stuff. Oh. Very cute. More Beauty and the Beast stuff. Ooh, I got the set of these from our outlet mall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're $28 here, and I paid eight or nine dollars each mug. I'm a little overwhelmed. Or a lot overwhelmed. In a good way, but like I just want to see everything, and there's so, so, so much. I've never tried Mickey's coffee, but I wonder if it's good. I mean, I don't, I don't assume that it would be bad or anything. There's a couple different kinds. Dark roast, medium roast. You can also get Mickey's coffee pods. Look for your Keurig. Wait, it's cat pants. 
Oh my. It's Disney cat's pants. Are they stretchy like leggings? Yeah, they are. And I need them very much. And I need whatever those socks are too. Look at that. Okay, now we're in the stuffed animal section. This is my favorite section. It's just, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Come back here. I want to show you this Marie. There's little big eyed Marie and there's big big eyed Marie. And I need her, but apparently, allegedly, we don't have room for her. But I think we have room to take her home. Also, how cute is this Dumbo? He is adorable. We're supposed to be together. Oh, okay. And the Grinch won't be jealous at all. <laughs> she could totally fit in a suitcase, right? I mean, she's not too big. She could fit, but you have to squish her. She doesn't mind. What's that? She loves being squished. Mm -hmm. There's so many baby clothes, too. Look at, look. Baby clothes. You know, little kids and toddlers and baby stuff. Look at these! They're called Wishables! Huh! They are cute! So we've seen stuff like this at our outlet mall. Okay, I keep pulling them off the rack. Wishables. Nice. Ten dollars is a little high for one though. We can pass the time by buying something. I'm just being silly. This is the problem. I don't need anything. There's that pink backpack again. Man. All right. We can head out because this is just like a time vortex. Okay, so we have a little time still. Not super long but a little time till our dinner reservation so I think we should try and at least see what time the marketplace co-op is open till and take a little look around in there because I want to be able to take a good look around and the art store and this and that so I'm hoping everything is not closed by the time we're out of dinner oh sunshine and heat I hope the snow has melted back home because it was snowing when we left Chicago and I want no part of that here we go Marketplace co-op. Lots and lots of good stuff here. Look at this little display. Oh, it's Tinkerbell and flowers. And a Dooney purse. Oh my goodness. Here, okay, I know it's kind of a random display to look at this at, but look at the pretty colors on the It's a Small World bag. I love that bluish greenish color wow that is a dooney print i have never seen before it's like vintage disney stickers or posters i don't know Here's Tiki Room stuff. But I've gotta say, I don't want that bag. Like, no thank you. Oh, here's that bag again. Oh, Captain Marvel. This dress is $128. Oh, look at the little zero bag. Oh my goodness. He is $65. Sally dress, haunted mansion bags. Ooh, and a villain's dress. Yes, it's a food dress. And you could have a slice of pizza for a purse. Oh, 
handkerchief and a great Mrs. Potts bag. And then here's your chip um, clutch or wallet, maybe. Oh, here's that Tinkerbell. I like the shape of some of these. That's different. And I like it. It's nice to have some new options. Not that I get a lot of Dooney bags. But it's nice to have options in my dreams. There's a pretty springtime one. Let's see. Oh, look, the butterflies look like the characters. There's Goofy and either Chip or Dale. Daisy, Minnie, Pluto. Cool. Here's a pink Disney dog dress. There's some type of candle making class going on. So we're going to walk over to dinner now. But we will be back because obviously I have to come back. Anyway, the camera's dying. We're going to dinner. We'll be back here though. Morimoto. We've never been here. Trying something new. Wow, this place is really big. Really big. We just gotta wait a few minutes till it's actually our reservation time. So, in the meantime, we're just relaxing in the shade, thank goodness. And enjoying the sights. It's really cool looking in here. And there's the kitchen. Okay, so remind me what that is. Pork? No, duck and chicken. Duck and chicken fried rice. That is very interesting. And I ordered the uh, three braised spare ribs, I think. And was it braised spare ribs or just spare ribs? Okay, well, three spare ribs. And then these are the chicken bao. Okay, so we're all done with dinner, and I liked it. Yeah, me too. My short ribs were really, really, really good. And three was plenty. I was worried about getting like a little half order, just three of them, but that was plenty for one person. Um, and then the chicken bow, bow um, that was good. I mean, the bun part is my favorite. And there was a lot of chicken in there, and like it was good, but it wasn't my favorite thing ever. So how was your Fried rice. Fried rice is really good. Okay. We got a sp spicy chicken and duck fried rice. Yes, and I tried some, and I don't do a lot, like hardly any spicy at all. And I found it had some kick to it, but it wasn't too spicy for me. So when they say spicy, they don't always mean like sear your tongue off spicy. Yeah. So it was nice. It was a nice kick. So that was good. I say we could eat there again. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I would go back for those braised or whatever they are. Those short ribs are really yeah. good. So now we're going to head back to the world of Disney and back to the co-op because we have some more looking around to do. Okay, we're back at the co-op and I like to go, well, I do everywhere. But let's see, think furry thoughts. This must be pet stuff. Little food dishes for 20, Star Wars. Hmm, it's a squeeze toy. It's $18 for this squeeze toy? Holy cow. There's dog treats and balls. Looks like another toy. More bowls, Minnie Mouse bowls, and pet feeding mat. Oh, here's one. Here are shirts and the, the Mickey Mouse feeding mat. But look, you can get a spirit jersey for your dog. These are $35. There's headbands. Oh, too bad they don't have any cat-sized headbands. Harnesses. Two toys. There's that shirt of my dreams. Little cat frame. 
in all sized collars for dogs and cats. Well, obviously cats would be over here, but then dogs. There's pet beds. Yes, look. Look at this Mickey and Minnie pet bed. They also have Star Wars harnesses and bandanas and toys and collars. And here's Haunted Mansion. So cute. And Haunted Mansion bandanas too. Oh my goodness. And the food bowl. Now let's go into the Wonderground Gallery where they have artwork. And I love this because I usually end up buying a couple of postcards. I love this style. Aww. Look at this. I've seen some of this Kingdom of Cute stuff. Um, it's just a little collectible figurine, I think. So, obviously, you can. Okay, these are the selection, you know, that come in the mystery packs. So you gotta wanna collect all those. And they're not very big and they're $20. That's a lot for a figurine that's very small. And then there's also mystery boxes or blind boxes, I think you call them, um, for the happiest cruise. And here are the options for that. I think this girl was just here, Ashley Taylor. I think she was here recently signing prints. Uh, we missed her, we just did Universal on those days, so. We didn't get to see her, but I follow her on Instagram because I really like her artwork. <laughs> That's okay. You just got us there. Okay, so this is what I like is that a lot of the artwork that you see the big prints of, not all of it, but a lot of it, you can buy in a small postcard size and they're $5. So that's usually what I end up getting. Have I hung them up yet at my house? No. So I have several that I've got to figure out, but like I gotta figure out what to do with them, but I buy them because I feel like one day I'm gonna do something with them. I'm gonna hang them up or frame them or something. This one I like from this uh, Haunted Mansion print. I like that. And if you want this big version, it's $195. So I'll stick with my $5 postcard. This stuff's cute too. We haven't seen this before. Oh, look how cute Figment is. You can get the postcard for it too. There's a wall of square Mickey prints. One is cuter than the next. Canvas wrap, celebration of the mouse, canvas wraps, $125 each, I assume. Now we're over in the centerpiece section, so this is like serveware and kitchen stuff. Like nice, ceramic, porcelain, whatever it is, glass, not just, not just plastic stuff. Like it's actually nice kitchen stuff. Look at these nice serving pieces with Mickey on them. Wow. Ooh, a Cinderella set. I've never seen this stuff before. Look at these Cinderella plates. Oh boy. I'm trying very hard not to drop it. It's $20 for one plate. Yeah. They have everything. Little, oh, that doesn't really seem like a food plate to me, but maybe I'm wrong. It's like a little plate, mugs, big dishes, small dishes, fancy teacups. 
pillows, throw blankets, bowls. Here's some more of that food theme stuff that we've seen. Cute hand towels. Dole Whip cup. Um, okay. No price on that one. It's $23. Okay, now we're gonna head into Trendy. Oh goodness, it's Figaro. It's a Figaro purse and a Marie fanny pack. Can you believe that? That is cute. Here's a Loungefly 101 Dalmatians backpack. Look at this, it's a Fox and the Hound windbreaker. Interesting, that is $50. My goodness, there's 101 Dalmatians, like a big t-shirt dress. Oh, Robin Hood. And a Cinderella sleeveless top. Some cute baseball caps. Oh, a Figaro long sleeve shirt. And there's Cleo. Interesting, kind of casual stuff, loungewear. These look like crop shirts, 45, like that. I don't know about that one so much, but these, these long sleeve shirts and sweatshirts just kind of seem a little on the short side. Little Mermaid shirt with uh, like these tool netting sleeves. Little Flounder and Sebastian shirt. Ooh, I see Lumiere. A long sleeve pink shirt with a Lumiere sequence decal on him. Nothing on the back, that's just the whole thing. Oh, all the little shoe and purse ornaments. They have this stuff in a couple different places around Disney Springs. Some more Briar Rose Gold stuff. I saw this before, but I didn't show it. I thought it was cute. I live in Fantasyland. It's 25. Alex and Annie bracelets. I definitely need all of these. Some just kind of general Mickey and Minnie stuff. Jacket. It's like an old Mouseketeer jacket. Mickey Mouse Club. All right. I think I'm all set. Okay. We can mosey along. So we're inside Goofy's Candy Company. Just looking around and I wanted to see the treats. And they have a lot of pink Minnie Mouse treats. Look at that. Pink's my favorite, it's so cute. They have a lot of other cute little things too, of course. Look at this, Mickey sugar cookie. Cool. Okay, so you can order your and customize your own apple, uh, Rice Krispie treat, marshmallow, or gingerbread cookie. And then they make them and decorate them for you here. Here's 
the bulk candy. We could get some berry cherry. Yep. We have seasonal Rice Krispie treats. They have little flowers. Tulips. Well, Easter slash Mother's Day. They're getting ready for Mother's Day. But I'm pretty sure this thing that says I love mom, I'm pretty sure that's the same exact thing that some of the desserts at Universal had. Some live music going on tonight. Oh, there's the guys right over here. the pickup is for Lyft and Uber but here's Morimoto at night I think it's really cool all lit up okay so we're back at the hotel now and I just don't remember if I showed what I got at the outlet I might have well I'll show it again anyway okay so I got this um, sweater it's kind of, I don't know, it's like old fashioned. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of vintagey. I like that. So this one was $15 instead of 50. And then I got this one, which is warm. Uh, it's like fuzzy on the inside, which I like. So it'll be extra warm. And then it has 
this design on the front says discover the magic Walt Disney World and then it's got something from all four parks um and then this one I believe is also 15. Yes this was also also 15 instead of 50 so I thought I did really well um getting those two and then at Disney Springs this evening as well as my cupcake and my s'more I also picked out these two um postcards which I'm just going to use at some point in my life whenever I get organized enough to decorate my house. Um, I'm going to put these with the rest of the postcards that I have. They're all Wonderground Gallery. They're all five bucks. So I have a nice little collection of them. I don't know, maybe about 10 now. Maybe. I think that might be a little on the high side. But I like them. I think they're cute. So um, it's a way to get some of the pictures and artwork for really cheap. Um, we Ubered this morning from, to and from the outlet mall, even though it's just on the other side of I-4. It didn't matter, we were just so exhausted. So we Ubered this morning and we took an Uber, well, technically we used Lyft. So, and then we took a Lyft from, a to and from Disney Springs. That was just too far. Obviously we couldn't walk to Disney Springs from here up by Universal. So those worked out well. Actually they ended up being really easy for pick up and drop off, no problems. So we've had a lot of luck with them. And um, we've, we've been liking using Lyft when we come to town for our travels, limited, very limited travels to our usual spots in Orlando. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow we're planning an early, for us, a very early start for the parks. I think there's some extra hours at Universal for, I think just Universal Studios. I don't think it's for islands. I think it's just for the studios. And I believe they're supposed to open the studios at 8 a.m. So I'm going to make it a priority that we actually wake up on time, get some breakfast here at the hotel and make it there for opening at eight because I'd really like to see what that's like to be some of the first ones in and see what it's like in terms of like rides. Obviously I hope it'd be easy to get on stuff and then also for picture taking purposes. So that's our goal. I think we're gonna make it because we really want to, we've never done it. So we've got to kind of turn it early tonight so we can get up early in the morning. So. Anywho, thanks very much for hanging out with us today. I hope you are enjoying these vlogs. I know they're probably pretty choppy or I probably showed like too much of something, but I'm still learning and um, I like showing stuff and I like watching other people's vacation and Disney and Universal vlogs. So I hope you find this helpful or at least entertaining in some way. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another day, our last full day at Universal for this trip. Talk to you later. Bye.